Since August 1, 2016, there have been over 600 confirmed cases of hepatitis A reported in residents of 13 counties in southeastern Michigan. Spread of infection has been mainly through person-to-person -person contact, and outbreaks have occurred mostly among persons who are homeless, persons who use injection and non-injection drugs, and their close contacts. Individuals infected in this outbreak have experienced serious illness. Eight out of 10 cases have required hospitalization and 20 individuals have died. Because of this, it is important for all of us to know how we can protect ourselves and others from this infection. What is hepatitis A? Hepatitis A is a highly contagious liver disease caused by the hepatitis A virus. Hepatitis A virus is found in the feces or poop of people with hepatitis A. You can get hepatitis A by eating contaminated food or water, during sex, or just, just by living with an infected person. Illness can appear 15 to 50 days after exposure, and you can be sick for several weeks. In some cases, people can die. Although not all people infected with hepatitis A experience illness, symptoms can include nausea and vomiting, belly pain, feeling tired, fever, loss of appetite, yellowing of the skin and eyes, dark urine, pale colored feces or poop, and joint pain. What can you do to protect yourselves and those around you? Proper hand washing is the most effective way to keep yourself healthy. Wash your hands after using the restroom and before eating or preparing meals for yourself or others. Get vaccinated against hepatitis A. Vaccine supply is currently limited, so please check with your healthcare provider about availability. Use your own towels, toothbrushes, and eating utensils. Do not have sex with someone who has hepatitis A infection. Do not share food, drinks, drugs, or smoking materials with other people. If you think you may have hepatitis A, see your medical provider. If your medical provider tells you that you have hepatitis A, please cooperate with your local public health department to help protect others. Hepatitis A can be easily passed when someone who is infected prepares food for others to eat. Because of this, it is important that everyone who works in food service follow these important guidelines. All food employees must practice good personal hygiene and properly wash their hands frequently. This includes washing hands with soap and warm water for at least 20 seconds, then thoroughly rinsing with clean running water and properly drying hands and arms. Hand washing is especially important after using the bathroom. Use utensils or gloves to eliminate bare hand contact with ready to eat food. Thoroughly and continuously disinfect the facility and food areas. Food employees should not work with food or utensils if they are sick with diarrhea, either alone or with vomiting, fever, or abdominal cramps. If a food employee has been diagnosed with hepatitis A, they should immediately notify the person in charge. Those in charge of food serving establishments must follow these guidelines to ensure the health of the public. Report to the Kent County Health Department when a food employee is diagnosed with hepatitis A. Call us at 616-632-7228. Exclude a food employee from the food facility if diagnosed with hepatitis A. Only the Kent County Health Department can clear an excluded employee to return to work. And restrict a food employee from working with exposed food, clean equipment, clean linens, clean utensils, and unwrapped single service articles if the food employee is suffering from diarrhea or vomiting or has persistent coughing, sneezing, or nasal discharges. Restrictions can be removed by the person in charge when the food employee states they no longer have the symptoms of illness. As the Kent County Health Department continues to monitor developments with this ongoing outbreak, we will continue to keep you informed. For more information, please visit our website, accesskent.com, and look for the information on hepatitis A in the tab on the homepage. For the Kent County Health Department, I'm Supervising Epidemiologist Brian Hartle.